Okay, nuclear power. Um, nuclear power and the nuclear industry um, had its origin ultimately in the discovery of radioactivity in 1895. Um, a Frenchman, Henri Becquerel, discovered the phenomenon of radioactivity by virtue of blackening of photographic plates in his lab which had been placed next to some substances uh, which had been brought in and he realized that these substances were giving off an invisible form of radiation which was causing the plates to be exposed even though they were in, wrapped in black paper. Um, what he discovered uh, the, the, phenomena, the, the materials that he had were uh, highly uh, high atomic weight elements like radium, pitchblende and uranium ores. And why, the question is why um, are these uh, materials radioactivity? Because radioactivity is a measure of instability in the uh, atomic nucleus. Just to look at the structure of the nucleus, um, most of the mass of an atom is located in the nucleus. Around the nucleus we have the orbiting electrons which are negatively charged. In the nucleus we have protons and neutrons which are much heavier particles, nearly 2,000 times heavier than an electron. Protons carry a positive charge and neutrons carry no charge. The simplest element is hydrogen. It has the simplest nucleus, the most stable nucleus. It is the most common element in the universe and it consists of a proton in the nucleus and one orbiting electron. Atoms normally are electrically neutral, so the number of protons in the nucleus, which is the atomic number, is equal by the number of electrons orbiting. Now, if we go to the next element, helium number two, uh, that is four times heavier than nitrogen, the reason being that its nucleus contains two protons, element number two, and two neutrons, three, two electrons. If we go to element number three, lithium, that has three protons in the nucleus and also three neutrons, three electrons in orbit. Um, beryllium four, boron five, carbon six, nitrogen seven, oxygen eight. In each case, two, sorry, in each case, an equal number of neutrons and protons in the nucleus. Why do we have to have the neutrons? Well, all particles attract each other. There are attractive forces acting between particles. Um, but of course, if you have two protons, they're both positively charged. And if you try to bring them too close together, they will repel each other. However, if you add a couple of neutrons in there, the extra attraction of the neutrons helps to counterbalance the repulsive force of the two protons and it holds the nucleus together in a very stable way. So, we can see the build-up of the elements from hydrogen up to oxygen number eight, as I've just mentioned. And if you carry on looking at the elements past element number 20, you will find that in each case, the, nu the nucleus consists of a certain number of protons plus an equal number of neutrons. However, when you look at the elements as they get heavier and heavier, you find, uh, according to the, the graph that I show, that the proportion of neutrons increases relative to the proportion of protons. Why is that? Well, if you cram in more and more positive charges into the nucleus, the repulsive forces between the protons increase. And there comes a point when just one extra neutron per proton won't do the binding. That's the point where you start to need a few extra neutrons to hold the atom together. These heavier atoms are perfectly stable and not radioactive. The phenomenon of radioactivity comes in when the atoms get very heavy indeed. Now when we get to uh, element number 92, uranium, that's the one most people have heard of, 
There are 92 protons crammed into the nucleus. Uranium-238, the atomic weight, is the weight of protons and neutrons. So if we've got uranium-238, 92 protons and 146 neutrons are necessary to hold the atom together. Now, there are two isotopes of uranium, there's uranium-235 and uranium-238. They both contain 92 protons, the difference being the 238 has got three extra neutrons. Now the three extra neutrons confer that bit of extra stability. So uranium-238 is a very low activity uh, isotope, it's not at all radioactive, it's very stable, and 238 nuclei only um, split very occasionally. 235, on the other hand, lacking these extra three neutrons, the neutron is much more unstable and it will suffer decay. So the phenomenon of radioactivity stems from the fact that nuclei are unstable and um, when they uh, decay, they do so by emitting um, alpha or beta radiation. Um, alpha particles are um, equivalent to helium atoms, there's two protons and two neutrons and if an atom shoots uh, uh, an alpha particle out then its atomic number goes down by two, its atomic weight goes down by four um, and what we've found, what chemists have found over the hundred years is that uh, radioactive elements such as uranium-235 will decay over thousands of years by a series of of uh, disintegrations and finish up as the, met the metal lead. Lead is a very heavy element as of course is uranium but lead is chemically stable and not radioactive but it is the end product of radioactive decay of these very unstable heavy elements. So this discovery of radioactivity uh, gave us the key into um, studying the atomic nucleus and uh, asking questions and, and finding answers about uh, the nature of uh, atomic nuclear stability.